by default pandas provides the df.describe function to show you the various statistical summaries of the numeric columns in your data set now this is your titanic data set on doing describe you have the maximum minimum mean standard deviation all the different percentiles all this information is readily available to you there is a more advanced way of doing that we have seen this also earlier this is based on the pandas summary package this is an additional package that you need to install from that data frame summary if you call data frame summary on a given data frame called data frame summary on df this creates a data frame summary object from this object extract a particular column this gives you a more detailed information about that column a lot of information is present here now there is a more enhanced way of getting a comprehensive view of the various analysis reports for all the columns in your data frame that you can get it using pandas profiling package this is something that you need to install in the first place if you haven't done so you need to run pip install pandas profiling this will install this package then import it then just with one single function you can generate a full fleshed report on your data frame just call on on importing this function on importing this pandas profiling after you import this then only you will get this particular method available run this this is going to generate a summary of all the columns in your data frame both numeric as well as categorical so it's generating the report let's wait for it rendering the html yeah there you go now this is the report itself here first we have the overview this tells us what are the different variable how many variables how many observations missing values percentage missing all this information the split based on the data type of each of the columns categorical numerical and boolean all right you have warning related information that is not important at this point now it gives a more detailed breakdown of each and every variable now for passenger id this is considered as a real number by this every value in this is unique in our data set right this is our primary key so let's take another column this one survived this is a categorical variable two distinct values percentage of distinct values missing values memory size this particular column occupies if it is a categorical you will get a frequency chart like this if it is a numeric variable you will get a histogram nice histogram like this so here for age it tells the number of distinct values percentage distinct missing values missing percentage infinite infinite percentage and so on all this information if you click on toggle details this gives you even further breakdown of your statistical summaries you can also see the histogram common values extreme values as well all right such information is present for all the columns following that you also have interaction related charts say you select the x axis x axis let me select it as h y axis i am going to select it as fair all right now it plots a simple scatter plot for age versus fair a basic view all right so all such combinations you are the charts are readily available from this you don't have to additionally plot it on your jupyter notebook then you also have the correlations between the various variables a nice heat map of your correlation chart you have pearson spearman kendels and other correlations also you also have a missing value report the count of total values and total missing values in every one every column you have in your data set as a matrix representation heat map representation and dendrogram finally you have a sample of the data frame as well first few rows then you have the last few rows so all that information all of this information is provided to you in a nice report just by using one single function which is profile report df dot profile report very useful